All right, guys. I'm grateful. You guys can't hear? Uh, you guys can't hear? You guys can't hear? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay. All right. So let me see how we can work this out. Okay. So we're going to start this from the beginning because this thing is wild. Okay. This thing is wild. This is new. This is updated. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. I was like blown away. Okay. I'm drag last year into this year. And um, I Why will say this. Why like bringing up old shit? It, 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 no, we're gonna bring up both. <laughs> we're gonna bring up current, shit and we're gonna talk about some new. But we do have Jaguar right back on the couch, which um she made famous the blue couch. Yeah, wasn't nobody really saying yeah the blue couch until Jaguar right yeah starts saying she it was a light wall at first. Yeah. Then yeah. Jaguar say like no, I, that's the blue couch, and uh, <laughs> the, the iPhone couch. made it, uh, the uh, they made an emoji. Man, shout out How Steve. Wild. Yeah. That, yeah, the blue couch is <laughs> a, a, a whole emoji, man. Yeah, it, put so, a light on put it. Put a light on it. Put a light on it. Thank you for making not only the couch famous, the life famous, but you know, giving us so much commentary for not only the first time you came, but the second time. Thank you. Now let's just start with that. Um, and whoever thought you was wrong, this is Jaguar, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is Jaguar, right? <laughs> so. Jaguar. Before we even get started, tell us how are you doing? How are you feeling? Okay, you see, you got a beautiful. You look radiant. You're you. smiling. You look good. Yeah. You look great on camera. Thank you. We're loving it. We got you back. Um, no, I'm I'm amazing. I I'm grateful. Uh, 2023 was a lot. Was a lot. It and it was, was a, a lot, lot fast. From Martin Luther King weekend, coming back from Shreveport till April 14th, which, by the way, we're about to hit the one year anniversary of me going viral, getting, you know, um, arrested in a pool at a Hilton live online. Put a one in the chat if you can understand Bob Ryan. <laughs> Wait, and just real quick, in that moment. Were you still just focused on the chat at yeah. that moment? Because <laughs> they were throwing ones up there like, yeah, yeah you, the, the policeman is right there. Yeah, I wanted to make sure everyone understood my rights. Oh, man. They were saying I was crazy. Shouldn't I ask somebody? Yeah, you, that's fucking amazing. If they was hearing what I was hearing. <laughs> that's amazing. They said I was crazy. Oh, man. All right, so let's do it like this. We're going we're gonna to loop back to that because okay. that's a whole sag of itself. And it's been a crazy year. But the reason why even right now your old interview that you did last year is trending even crazier because um, you're almost like, uh, not Nostradamus, but mm. you, 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 what you have said, not only on in our interview, but on your own personal lives. Yeah. Uh, Which gets shadowed it starts coming, constantly. Yeah, things start coming to fruition yeah. to where you targeted certain people in that interview. And now you're seeing, I don't want to even say downfall, but you're seeing that target that you put on people's backs. I'm seeing integrity wow. show up. Mm. Wow. You know, I, the day of the raid, yeah. I got a lot of notifications. I got a lot of ads. I got a lot of mentions. I got a lot of phone calls or as many as I could get because I had to change my phone number again because, you know, they did the bomb threat and then they lied and said that I was trying to commit suicide live online with a knife and sent the police to my door. That's a, What's that you're showing? That's a oh, oh, these are uh, the police cards. Yeah. Oh, wow. Of my address that was doxxed by Patrice Garner, Chatty oh. Patty. Where are you? Wow. For um, a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. Just pay for it. To come... To where I live. What? Y'all cute. Just pay for the food. Another one. Oh. And another one. Oh wow. Okay. Mark. Okay. If you did. So order address out there, police looking for you. Um. Phone number docs by last YouTube okay. boyfriend. 
Mm. Then just pay I had for a YouTube it. girlfriend and a YouTube boyfriend. I don't know why they always send the stupid ones. I keep telling I them, don't just send a stupid mother to do a smart mother's job. That's real. That's real. And we're this man, this is gonna be a, this is about to be a great conversation because mm-hmm. when you say YouTube boyfriend and girlfriends, yeah, YouTube has been sending me people. Yeah, we didn't ever since they had to keep my husband quiet because you know, once he gets arrested for blowing up the car. He's going to have no choice but to snitch on how YouTube paid him to betray his wife and okay. you know, make sure his wife went to jail so that they could poison her to death. We're going to circle right back to that. Jeez Louise. Oh, my God. So when you said the day of the raid, you're talking about the raid on both Miami and California. And, and New York simultaneously. Wait, New York was? Yeah, the that? New York house was raided as well. Oh, wow. That didn't even. Yeah, they didn't even really. Three put... states. working in tandem and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding Mm -hmm. they went in tactical as they were instructed to they didn't know they was raiding diddy's house Mm -hmm. the higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with diddy being a a fair informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit so they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. That the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing? They did their job. He's a sex worker. He's got guns. And he's got semen coated in VHS tapes. Oh. Oh. Okay. I would have went in in a hazmat suit. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, when you first told us about your thoughts and you would you, you honeycombs is what you yeah, heard. the honeycomb. What? Shout out to Jamil Peterson. He's added a new one. He called him the Diddy Glover now. Because when he ain't got the Beijing, then he say he look like Danny Glover. Oh, man. So we, he's a.k.a. Diddy Glover now. Shout out to Jamil Peterson. I am comedy. So this, we're gonna, I want to stay right here. We're going to stay within this pocket. But yeah. I'm just curious. What did you know that was going on in the world of Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, that the world didn't know? What did you, what did you know back then, three, that four years was ago? was going to come forward. So what what did you how did you know what did you know about what cat? Because to, to hear that explain yeah, but, um, but if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. Um, which is why the last time I sat on this blue couch, I said what I said. Congratulations, young Miami, run as fast as Cassie did. You did say that. That's a bar. Did did you see something being around Cassie? Did did you see anything being around? I don't spend time around Cassie, and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Brian Leslie. Was there something in her eyes that you saw the way, like now that? I'll put it to you this way: there are mutual acquaintances between her and I, Mm. and that's as far as I can go. Okay. When you, I don't talk to her, but I speak to her. Did you get a chance to see her indictment? Uh, what she claimed happened? Oh no, I I reviewed okay all the files and everything that she said is everything that I said with Storm Monroe three and a half years ago. Exactly what I said it was. Were you surprised about anything that came in? No. Wow. So nobody just... else should have been either. Young Jock. Thank you. you diddy do wop bop. <laughs> you. Yeah. Because you told the truth, Jock. And then yeah. after Diddy called you, you went back and tried to clean it up. Mm-hmm. But yeah. your all about is off the Stevie J's. You diddy do wop bop. Do you feel like that's the reason why um, 
this beef, but you know, that Stevie J stands where he stands between the beef with 50 Cent and Diddy. I don't know where Stevie J stands. I only know Stevie J sitting on a drum set or fuck. I don't know where he stands. Man. I know what he stands up in. And I know what done stood up in him. <laughs> take that, take that. Oh. So wait, so when you heard <laughs> I can't stand these <laughs> like for real, like I'm just tired. Let's keep it a bean. All these niggas. You not even gay me because you won't claim it. No, you want to sit around and pretend to like bitch. That's what y'all do. And then you get these hard Jocelyn. So I'm just like curious. these are these are the you like half man. No disrespect. But Jocelyn Ruff. Them shoulders is and the way she like running up on I already know she done strapped up on you. Ooh. Ooh. So Jack, let me ask you. There's one the, the shock some of the shocking things. I hear that mean with a harness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Not a harness. Yeah. So I, I gotta ask you this. I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, except many. Honestly. And so can you take us through like what goes on like when you were there? What did I say? When y'all asked me about the why was the TD Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. What I say? Money, Money. and sex. That's, it. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No. That he's recording these. Uncle, he is the J Edgar Hoover of hip hop. Mm. Okay. Y'all didn't see him put it on the pavement where the skirt. <laughs> So let me ask you, when you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come in the, what they call freak-offs now, yeah. um, that is something, that's something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood. Yeah. Freak-offs. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Everybody know that? Yeah. I've been saying it. Yeah. yeah. What, how many times I got some This is wild. So do you feel like people, when they hear... Uh, pink cocaine, young Miami has to bring across. That's... Wait, the two, the, the two C. Yeah, the two C. That's what they got. I got no, I found out. I talked to my drug guy because a... I wanted to be informed because people was calling the two C. They calling it the two C. I didn't know which one it was, so I talked to my drug guy, and my drug guy filled me in, and then it made perfect sense. Two C. Talk to him. Drugs with Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk <just> Drugs education. <laughs> one on one. So two C is the coke, but they take the ketamine and cook it up, and they they fold it into the cup. Now, if you don't know what cat is, cat is what they call on the street special K. It's a veterinary drug. It's a horse tranquilizer. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you will always find on hand. Viagra, XB, Special K, and cocaine. Now, see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle because of with the blood flow is so do you who wants to fuck with a half hard dick all night? So that's why you have the Viagra to make sure that the, the dick involuntarily stays hard while you're numbing your fucking self with the coke. Now see the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. You could get fucked by 80 fucking um ton gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now your dick is gonna stay hard. You numbed up. And you high, you got the ketamine in you, so you don't feel shit. And then you add the, the ecstasy to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out. And now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. So now the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. Wow. 
So you got the cocaine in there and then you got the ketamine in there. And they say that some of the dealers add the ecstasy in there. Now the Viagra, they st- you still got to take that solo. Mm. But th- with the tipsy, you got all of that. Well, the gay cocktail. Oh. Golf cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making the, the mess? Yeah, and they just... made it a special color. So they done that with the two Wow. It, it's the food coloring. You think that... As like, if you need more. When did high not get high enough? Like, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across. Like, I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like, no... I need that here. You got... Three drugs, powerful drugs, and food coloring. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that that Viagra. You a machine. You anything. You a brick wall wouldn't even feel it. <laughs> I'm sure there's footage of that. <laughs> there's footage of that. <laughs> like, I'm sure of that. Like that um, right there is like, that's like, you know, cut me over right now, man. I ain't even gonna bleed. Cut. Like it's wild. Like this two C shit. Now I see how young Miami can take all that pressure. She on the two C. Mm. They be thinking these is over here like killing the game. They don't feel nothing. That's why they do it. Okay? Um, Young Miami put out a tweet a while back and basically um, was into it with, I guess, one of these other women. Mm -hmm. And she basically said, if I wanted you to eat my cat, Diddy would have had you on your knees by now. Uh Uh-huh. Do you think that that was really like her telling on herself before she knew things were going to hit the fan? No, I think that was her being herself because she's a dumb... (laughs) Damn. I think she was just telling the truth because it's almost as rough as Nicki Minaj with females out here. I get lace front all the time. Oh. Snatching up and throwing them in her nasty ass uh, twat. Mm. Mm. Like, like when I think of the title of her show, I'm like, is that what your victims be saying? Carisha, please. Oh. Oh, Damn. <laughs> okay. Please, Carisha, stop, Carisha, please. So, so you're saying that Carisha is... She's a predator no different than Nicki Minaj. Mm. She likes that shit. That shit turns her on. Mm. Wild bitch. And her and the sexy red and the Sukianas and all this shit. The saucy Santanas. The whole fuck lot of them. Got say this. They, I know a Punisher when I see one shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Punisher one time in my life. You know, it takes one to know one. Right. And I used to be hard on But these bitches, they doing shit I wouldn't do. You get, so that's why you got the two C. <laughs> you know? Bring, it, bring in the gorilla. <laughs> bring in the gorilla. They say that's why you see this distance between uh, Young Miami and JT that she kind of saw it. Oh, coming. JT a punk. Uh, all of them city bitches. Because JT could have been put a stop to this. Sh- JT want to sit up there and act like she worried about Carisha, but at the same time, you know what she doing. Why ain't you fucking called his out yet? Pull her in off the ledge. That is over the edge. Like you can't complain about this sitting here playing in your face when all you gotta do is tell the truth. Shut that whole shit down. So when they list Carisha as a sex worker in the latest, she is uh, a sex. Hurry, JT. The audience. What don't y'all understand? It, to to be on payroll. How many ways do I have to say it? <laughs> <laughs> 
death. They pay big to do damage and procure victims. They're sex traffickers, and all of these big is hopeless. Sex worker, $250,000 a month to do straight at will. You couldn't wait for Cassie to run. You couldn't wait to be in Cassie's shoes. Carisha, please. So why does why does Puffy why does it all come to head now? Why why now? Why? Because he's the acceptable monster at this time, like R. Kelly was the last time I sat on this couch. Mm. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, we see the lineup. I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who Jay Z is setting Diddy up. Oh, wow. Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing shit free. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life identity, and took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Yeah, shout out D. Haven. He actually hit us up, wanted to tell this story. You need to talk to D. Haven. Yeah, we need to talk to him. I told you that last year you when did. I put you on the phone with him. You did. And it I ran into and then I got thrown in a hospital by my insane f husband mm. who's working for you to, to make his mama pray. Mm. So wait, Jack, I, I'm just curious because with Diddy what do you mean? With Diddy uh, settling within 24 hours, which has never been heard of 30 million or the lawsuit was there, we un undisclosed amount. But he knew for 30 days that shit was fitting to happen. Within 24 hours. He could have paid that 30 million before. Yeah, why? Let that hit the fan. Did he, because he's dead. He caught a bluff? Because, he, yeah. He, he, he should have enough money to he check. He put the boots to that girl. She's supposed to be a good bitch. No matter who she with. All the time he putting a groom in her. Of course he thought it was still going to work. He thinks he's God. Right. He ain't doing shit. Break the fuck out of it. Put the boost to it last time I seen a her and her train a boyfriend. I don't get no... So, so you hear about stories of Diddy like shooting people, yeah. blowing up cars. Yeah. Is he this gangster that behind the scenes that ever... Is that him? Or is that Shout around? out to Wendy Williams, the first woman to uncover the homo thugs. That's what these download bits was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the 90s, the homo thug. She talking about Diddy. And then what's the stuff that's happening with Wendy Williams? Do you think this is all connection to? Of course. They've been waiting. He's been waiting. He was waiting for Kim. Remember? He was waiting. The casket was ready. She was literally casket ready. Some people are saying the whole Wendy Williams documentary that she's pretty much allegedly playing this way to keep herself safe from him, from any unaliving. It's been working for Orlando Brown. Mm. Why wouldn't it work for Wendy? To play crazy. Why, why, why wouldn't it work? Hey, no. Hey. The oosh goth whoosh wash. <laughs> Orlando's brilliant. Right. Yeah. Y'all spent time with yeah, him. We did. Yeah. He's highly intelligent. Yes. Imagine what it's been like to wear this character for this long. No, I can only- That 
he does as a character. Actually, this thing he does online is the best acting he does. Is he speaking truth? Of course he is. You know? We seen quite on Major set. pain in his ass. Literally. <laughs> Since he was a kid. Damn. Oh, man. Oh. And then milk running the fuck around. Talking about expensive pain. Now, in his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jack. Fuck me. Wait a minute. He's a fucking fruit loop. He did he five. This is Philly. He's a deep fried. <laughs> he did he fried. He did he fried. He didn't did he do our bop. Fuck me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was fucking him. <laughs> Nikki put that up to here. That, that Nikki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. <laughs> She's been waiting to drop that shit with me. Oh, she just wasn't going to tell nobody it was Diddy. But now that Diddy out there, why not? So then who's the guy who's claiming he recorded it? Yeah. Oh, the somebody bouncer. that got paid? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said, like, I was yeah, standing outside the door. Yeah, somebody that got paid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like it wasn't semen or fluid. That Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club with Trey Songs on the lookout. The images are there. Diddy Five. Hashtag no Diddy. Hashtag no Diddy. No Diddy. Uh, do you have any any views on Usher? Because a lot of things have come back to where Usher. They talk about his. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Goofy bitch. No. Got your asshole ripped open and the only thing it inspired was loyalty. They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ass ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada and take him to the flavor Oh, fuck off. The kitty edition. Get his ripped out. Now everything's coming out. And the first thing you do is run the body with another kitty rep who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak off. Not the flavor. Uh. Now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. He suck Odell Beckham dick the club, and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. Mm. That's what they learned at the freak off. How to steal big dick. Now you said no Diddy, but it seems like there is uh, Lil Rod has come out who he produced the Love album, and it seems like he has recordings, pictures. Of a whole year and Smart a half, guy. year and a half with Diddy not getting paid to where he's Smart like. Guy. It seems like you can't say no to Diddy the way he's the way he's putting it out. Like, there's a lot yeah. of people like, why did he say no? Yeah, that, that you don't go. Yeah. Yeah. You you don't go. Yeah. Why go? They gonna drug you. Place, yeah. You gonna ask for a glass of water? It's gonna be laced with that tootsie. Let the let the good times roll. <laughs> like if I knew that there's a possibility that I might get raped and drugged if I go to this party, and I go anyway, I just wish they would tell all these little nick truth, you know. When they court them with the record deals and the contracts and the chains and the cars and the girls. And I wish they would tell them the truth. Listen to me. All you got to do is let these eight fuck the dogs get out of you tonight. I'll get all that for you tomorrow. Because that's what's going to happen. 
Like, why can't you be up front? You it, know? I, I didn't believe this until I watched a Nickelodeon documentary where the kids were, you know, basically, not, I don't want to say groomed, but they were technically assaulted based on saying, hey, here's the contract. They don't tell us up front, but they say, oh, yeah, this guy is gay. But he, he he's touchy-feely. They warn you. And on one of the episodes where a father said, I no, just want to let you know, before you do this scene, this man is a predator. Okay? <laughs> if you see something, say something, okay? But nobody wants to hear it. Like the fuck? To, to put someone's career on the line. To say, hey, That's what they if do. you don't do this, you're not going to go higher than this. That's what they do. You know how many times I've heard it? That's what I was going to ask. You, you're, you're in the industry. Yeah. Did they ever say, if you come in this room, Jack, yeah, I, let's, I was, I was let's get down. Yeah, I was told. And you will see some doors open. I was drugged. Mm. By a rapper that I knew. I won't say his name and I won't say the name of his group. Really doesn't matter. Nobody remembers them anyway anymore. Shame. They were awesome. They put him on me. He had the camera set up in the room. He drugged me. He did everything he was supposed to do. He just felt guilty about it in the morning. So he gave me the tape. And they got dropped six months later from their label. And nobody's ever heard of them again. And they were some dope ass motherfuckers. Shout out to him for that. He ain't had to give me that tape. Wow. But the fact he recorded it, and, oh man. He oh. had to. He had to. Oof. It was either that or lose the deal. It, so he did it, but he gave me the tape. Wow. And he lost his deal anyway. Is that commonplace in the industry? Absolutely. Uh, a cocktail recording. Absolutely. Receipts. Let me tell you something. Cocaine and champagne. They used to call it the South Beach diet. Mm. Like if you ever heard anybody 15 years ago talk about the South Beach diet, cocaine and champagne. When I first started staying at the Mondrian, I'll never forget. I was so glad when they stopped bringing it. But when I would get my breakfast tray, they would have cocaine on my tray. They would have weed on my tray. They would have pills on my tray. You know? Just whatever you partake in. No. They didn't know. Okay. They just put anything on there so you could pick something. I always took the weed. Rest of the sh I would leave on tray. And I would push it back out to the hall. 15 times my breakfast was served like that. Wow. At my $750 a room, you know, a night room at the Mondrian mm -hmm. on Sunset Boulevard. They stopped sending it because they realized I always sent it back and all I took was the weed. For some of the women who went through those same things, waited years, waited 15 years to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What are you, what are your thoughts to that to where they didn't talk about it then, but now when lawsuits come up. Why would they up, talk about it then? A lawsuit is a lawsuit. I mean. But why would they talk about it? Why would they talk about it? Who is they to go to? Who's going to fucking help them? What HR department do you know of that works for any of these labels? Yeah. When have you ever heard of a sex harassment suit being publicly acknowledged in the entertainment industry at all? Never. Sports. Not in entertainment. Tupac. Tupac. I remember that one. That was. He was the only one. Yeah. Yeah. He saw how that turned out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Guilty. That's why they do it. To make you an example. Mm. to remind you what they're willing to do to keep things the way they want them. Mm. It's intimidation. I want you to think about this. Allegedly, Sean Carter is responsible for enacting Hype Williams 
to put a Leo on a faulty plane to move her out the way as punishment for rejecting him. And so he could level up Beyonce who was struggling. Let's just say allegedly that happened. Now I want you to think about 106th and Park with Mary J. Blige. Free, who is a victim of Sean Carter. Yeah. Mary J. Blige, who is a victim of Sean Combs, are sitting there talking about the death of Aaliyah amongst each other. Think about that. You got a Diddy victim, you got a Jay-Z victim, and you got a superstar gone. They know what happened. And yet, they had to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Mm-hmm. Think of the power of that moment. Think about Claudia Jordan right now. Claudia Jordan don't ever mention my mother name. She mentioned it yesterday. Talking about why people are afraid to come forward. You mean like you? You was Diddy girl. Corey was Jay-Z girl. Why don't you claim your friend? Claudia. So, Jack, when you say... When I say Corey, I'm talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay-Z's pregnant mistress who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimura who wrote the book Bling and died as soon as it made the bestsellers list. Mm. Who the fuck was these people supposed to go to? Mm. You can't go to the boss because the boss is fucking you. And the boss is boss? Don't get no fuck. Can't go to the authorities. They're all bought and paid for. You could try to get a special prosecutor, but they'll just pay somebody to reassign him to another case. Where the fuck you go when you get over by the industry? Nowhere. That's where you go nowhere, which is where people like me step in. You right, I go to Diddy parties. To walk mother f- out. Cause ain't nobody stopping me when I come. It seemed like it's men who they not men. I'm bisexual woman. I'm the B in the LGBTQ plus in this XYZ. A gay man is a gay man. A sexual being is a sexual being. A sodomite is a predator. If it don't apply, let it fly. Period. What's we supposed to call these fairy ass bitch? Mm. Let's talk about the problems that black women are having being able to recognize what a real black man looks like. You're less than after LL Cool J. You're less than after Diddy. You're less than after Jay Z. You're less than after Dwayne. I now want to be a woman since it looks cute on my son. I mean, daughter. You got fucking wheels. All these fucking. That's who you lust after. And that's what you go after. You don't go after a real black man. You go for a. Uh, act like the. And then you wonder why you get dogged the f*** out. He don't need you. What you there for? To wear white fingernails and hold big black. That probably something better than you. Like let's just talk about Gabrielle Union right now. Yeah, let's go, because. That last time I sat on this blue couch, I had some very specific things to say about the Wade household. Yes, you did. 
What has happened since I spoke? Uh, in my opinion, it got worse. Uh, it's a little more out of control. They said I was jealous. <laughs> they said I said everything that I said because I was jealous. Gabrielle Union. She the black Chris Jenner. She done turned her husband into a bitch. <laughs> he wants to be a woman. That's why they're getting divorced. She went on Twitter cussing out Diddy and then deleted it because Diddy want to um, throw Dwayne um, a, 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 a divorce freak off. <laughs> why is it a problem? He been freaking off. Why you care? You was at the freak off with it. And I'm jealous of that. Mm. I'm jealous of that. Let's be real. Let's be real. This knew this it was a and then she pretended he wasn't. And then she pretended that she had the perfect life while she's splitting bills with a You doing the real mom who wants her children to have a fair chance at making their own decisions while you and your I want to be a husband convince your child that they need to get the whole trans thing going on now so they can get a Disney contract. And we all know what Disney does to children. Imagine what they do to trans kids. Oh, I don't want to imagine. That's where you want to send your child? Oof. But you cut the real mama out. I'm jealous of this bitch. This is a power bottom. He sucked just like you are. And they high on that two seat and they have an unprotected sex. This is sucking all night. Then he come home and he kiss you with that mouth. <laughs> e. coli kisses. I'm jealous of that. I'm, <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous of kissing a suck. I'm jealous of that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just. Who gonna be jealous? <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous. <clears throat> Yeah, it, it, I want. I want to f- too. Mm. <laughs> I want to play dress up with my husband in my closet only. So let me ask you because I look at a uh, Gabriel Union, and when you mention things like Jay Z's time is coming for him, then I look at a uh, you know Beyonce, and I say that you know women do have a that country album, and any of you that buy that she a stupid as shit. You don't give it's it trap music with God, a holster and a hat. But she remade Jolie. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the song she should have remade. It's a hit. It would have done great for her. She should have tried it on. Tammy Wynette. Classic. Stand by your man. Don't act like you don't know that now. Remake that. Stand by that. That's a real country hit. Jolene, nice. But it has a ring to it. Stand by your man. Yeah. And whoops. You. And disrespects you with other like Kathy Coriana White. Mm. All right, well, let's do it like this. He was actually carrying his baby while you was faking it. Why your husband don't want to put his seed inside of you? He put it in everybody else?
uh, street stars, nigga. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. That was crazy. That was. That was crazy. That was insane. Did y'all hear them saying? Oh, oh, they was uncomfortable. They was uncomfortable. That was crazy. What's y'all thoughts? What's y'all thoughts on this tonight? What's y'all thought? They was uncomfortable. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, I could only take her for so long. I mean, it's, you know, all the screaming. I'm just like, wow, she is so loud. Okay. I'm like, you can get your point across. <laughs> she had me uncomfortable. <laughs> she was so loud, guys. Oh, my God. But, and somebody said all she was doing was repeating. But she was talking about new stuff, too. Remember that. She was talking about new stuff. Yeah, she know how to go viral for real, y'all. Anybody else want to comment on this? I was just like, I don't even have to talk tonight. I just want to play the new interview that came up because that was crazy. Let's give it up to Real Life Production. That was crazy. The fact that they even had that interview because she sat on their couch before. And it's just like, guys, I look, I ain't put no earrings on. I ain't put no legal. I was just like, okay, let me just get on, okay? Let me just get on. I, I feel, hold on for a second. I'm just like, whew. it's crazy. It's crazy. Yep, you're right about that, Sheba. I be feeling the same way. Because when I'm going to look for information and I'm doing my investigations, some of the things is repeated or some of the stuff that I already know because we used to do the nightclub photography. So yes, but each person gives a different type of spin, okay? And this is not going away anytime soon. Uh, kitty cat, um, Andika baby. Um, I don't think it's so much of her, uh, everybody being silent. It's just that she's so boisterous. But then, hey, that's, that's Jaguar. You know what I'm saying? That's Jaguar. So... I just want y'all just to come on. You don't need no. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Tomcat. Got me over here blushing tonight. No, seriously, guys, this is like that interview was just like, wow, because she's been vindicated. She's been vindicated. She's been vindicated. Because she's been saying this for the last three years. And now I can just imagine. Yeah, she does a lot of exaggerating and mixing. Truth of the lies, just like she was trying to say that Sierra was a man. Sierra is not a man. She had four babies. Can no man have no baby? Okay. And Megan is a, is a woman as well. You know, that girl, she's been a woman all her life, a female all her life. So some things, you know, I, yeah, I could believe that she may do some sort of embellishment on some things, but I think the situation with Diddy, I don't think that's embellishment at all. And in the, in the, in the reference with, um, what was it? Uh, about Usher and his butt. That's the reason why Usher's mom wanted to um, sue. And his mom even said it. So I'm excited. I can't, you know, I'm excited about going live with that. And I promise you guys I was going to do that. But I really want to make sure I have more interviews with the mama because don't nobody else really have any interviews with her. And I want to make sure that I have all the interviews with her because she was so highly upset guys and rightfully so i would be highly upset if somebody sat up there and um and and raped my son and took him to the hospital and my son's butthole i said that the other night i was like guys the mom wanted to see when somebody said it's the parents fault but she trusted la reed okay but when and remember the son you know usher was there for a period of time it was quite interesting that Jaguar didn't want to talk about Usher. Uh, I will say that. Okay. Should I, you know, forget him, you know, that I thought was interesting. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm not, I'm not playing some of these things right here. 
Some be a little on the lines, just a little bit, but that part of uh, true gene deal said it too. Yes. Don't think she's not looking at stuff too. Okay. It's wild that you two and her husband tried to. Uh, now that right there was insane. Okay. The fact that her husband was playing both sides, that's insane. And he works for YouTube, allegedly, okay? Uh, she, you know, she does do a little bit of like exaggerating. Let her be loud. Everybody else is being silent. Now, this one was a good topic. I mean, a good statement because a lot of people were silent, um, but a lot of people were scared. It was something that she said about uh, free and Mary J. Blythe. Now, that one I had not heard before, okay? You best believe that those girls were scared. They were scared for their life because they're, they're trying to get out. And remember what I said before, and I forgot what it's called about the oppressor, right? When the oppressor has oppressed you, okay? When the oppressor has oppressed you, you tend to fall in love with your abuser. You guys, you guys have heard of that before, right? You guys have heard of that before that you end up falling for your ab ab abuser, you know? And so when, and that's just like when somebody is consistently beating you, you know, you end up, you know, you've been around them for so long and that's all, you know, you think that that's normal. I remember that show and wonder why they were talking in code. Yeah. They were scared. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can pull that up. It was free and um, Mary, J. Blige on Aaliyah death, right? You know, um, because double girls was scared. Stockholm syndrome. Thank you so much. I couldn't remember what it was called, you know, but it was Stockholm syndrome. Okay. Those girls were scared. Okay. Those girls were scared to death. I was sleeping. Hold on, guys. Let me um, get. Let me show this screen right here, please. Let me show this screen real quick. I'm gonna bring this up real quick. And my boyfriend tapped me and said, "Mary, um, someone I'm shy is on the phone telling us that Aaliyah just got killed." I jumped up. I was like, "No way!" Um, and she, you know, was all over the radio. We put the radio on and doing a tribute to her. I just now, mind you, she didn't say she died. She said she was killed. Why would she use that type of language? Why would she use that type of language? Okay. She didn't say you know, well, then again, she was killed. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, she was killed or, or she died. You know, she says she was, you know, like. My crew, you know, we put, you know, the style of the day, body was in there. Um, this is, this, I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, I just know that that was a murder. You know what I'm saying? That was a spiritual murder, whether people know it or not, because God don't kill people. You know what I'm saying? Better people know it or not. And I could go deep, but a lot of people, I would have to really bring proof. You know what I'm saying? For what I learned. And she just was cut down in the prime of her life. And it's so unfair. And um, it wasn't time. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I, I believe it wasn't her time to go because from what I know, it ain't supposed to go down like that. And um, just simple obedience, like, you know, your gut always warns you. Just that your gut never lies to you. And something like, luggage and clothes and jewelry and all this madness that we worship is called false idols. We need to really look at the bigger picture right now. Yeah. And look at how honey could be here right now. Yeah. So let's mm -hmm. you, know, you know that's an old Blige video. What's up, man? You know that's an old video. Okay? That's an old video. Damon Dash said she was taken out. He wanted her to be to rush rushed him. You know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at my other computer, so I apologize if I'm not looking at, because I'm looking from one side to one side, so I apologize for that. I need to be looking forward. So one second, let me read some of these comments. 
I remember that like it was yesterday. I remember when she died, it did feel like yesterday. It was like it was back to back because it was Aaliyah, then it was left eye. Okay. That's what's so crazy about the whole thing. That's what's so crazy about the whole thing. Okay. All right. And Free was sitting on the couch like, oh, she didn't even say anything. She barely said anything. I have heard that Free has a child with Jay-Z. Mm, I remember hearing something about that too back in the day. Did she did she see Diddy post of Rico to the producer? Yes, yes, rest of, yes, yes. I thought that was quite interesting, actually. Okay. But, but it's like, it's so many different layers and pieces to this whole thing that it is just, it's trippy, y'all. It's just like, I sit up here, you know, I, I was sitting up here working a day, helping one of the clients. And um, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm sitting up here thinking about, thinking back. I was like, oh, I'm glad I was married. <laughs> Not that being married means anything, okay? But it, it's, it's kind of scary because... You know, we were doing the photography for five clubs and you see these people and some of them have really nasty attitudes. And, you know, I mean, I remember uh, it was Jagged Edge. I didn't particularly care for the group because they were kind of nasty um, to to women, they, how they speak to people and stuff. I, that was how they were back in the day, you know, just when they come in or they just had a superior, a more superior attitude or something like that. And I didn't, I didn't like that because, you know, we were doing the photography. I remember Vegas nights here in Atlanta, then Club Mirage, Jazzy Tees. I cannot remember the one that was downtown, midtown, that they now have built a bank because uh, Frank Ski used to DJ and we would be doing because uh, it was with 103, um, V103 at the time. And we would do, uh, we were, our booth, what we did, the photography was on the side behind him. And so it was just interesting. It was just interesting because now when I try to think back again, this was more, this, this was more than 20, I mean, shoot, 29 years, right? 29 years, because my son is 29, almost 30, you know? So when I sit, you know, actually, when I sit back and think about the stuff that's going down, I'm like, wow, was that the reason why that person act like that? You know, were they scared? You know, you see, you see them with the girls that that they really didn't have have face. Now let me say this: Portia Williams Gorbadia, okay, you know she was a video vixen hoe. Uh, thought over there, right? Remember Portia Williams. From Real House of Atlanta, she was dating R. Kelly. Did you hear what he said about is Jay Z that's doing everything? That's interesting. That's interesting. Because I said, is he the one behind this? Somebody is behind it. And if he feels as if somebody is, you know, I, I've always felt that Jay Z feels that he is more superior than others. And I do believe that if Beyonce was to leave him, he would hurt her. That's just how I feel about it. He would hurt her in some kind of way. I don't know, guys. Money, power, respect, right? Money, power, respect. You know, we're talking about power, okay? But that's how I feel. So let me let me ask y'all something. Uh, yeah, did y'all hit this like button? I need y'all to hit the like button, okay? We got 30 people in here and let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. G Willikers. And I just liked it myself. So only 19 people liked it. Can y'all hit the like button for me, please? Thank you. Okay. So let's read this one. Do you think Jack and Cat Williams are our subconscious programming for the future to, uh, I'm sorry. Let me reread this. Do you think Jack and Cat Williams are, are our subconscious programming for future events to happen, like the Simpsons. The Simpsons really tripped me out, okay? The Simpsons is kind of scary. I'm like, oh, they, they, they be saying stuff is true, okay? Yep, I hit the like. Thank you, Rashanda. I appreciate that. Sunstar Tequila, uh, to, uh, Tequila. Yeah, it's, it's a possibility, right? It's, it's really kind of scary, you know, but then, you know, the eclipse was last week. 
Thank you, Sheba. I'll be in Chicago this week, y'all. Um, I hope I get to go live while I'm there. Now that I think about it, I need to be going live from the Windy City, right? I need to be going live from the Windy City. But I'm I'm a little nervous about how this is going to play out. Who's going to fall off? We just had uh, DJ C die, right? The guy C. Um, is there going to be anybody else? You know what I'm saying? Is anybody else going to? Thank you, Sheba. Thank you, Rashanda. Um, is it going to be anybody else that's going to be taken out? Is somebody else going to die? Is somebody else going to potentially be poisoned? What, Rashanda? Okay. You know, so that's that's my concern, everybody. Okay, I'm waking up the family because I was kind of loud. Um, that's my concern. Like, what's going to happen to some of these people? It's, you know, I, 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 like I said, I just jumped on here. I was like, I ain't, I ain't care how I look. I said, let me get on over here. Let me get on over here. Let me get on, on, get on here. Because that interview, some of that stuff that she was saying, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Is Diddy's victory music had him running from the cops with a big explosion. That was over 20 years ago. Okay. That was over 20 years ago. Okay. And I told you, I don't think that he is going to jail. But, but what I do think, what I do think, you know what was so interesting though? When R. Kelly went to jail, there was a lot of people that still wanted to support R. Kelly. This right here, nobody is wanting. I mean, he was the man, he was the pee-pee man. You know, that's, that's what we call him, the pee-pee man. All right? Nobody, it doesn't seem like anybody really wants to support Diddy outside of the people that were at the freak offs, all right? But look at him running. And he look, he looks so skinny in the face right there. But look at him running, okay? All right. And this one right here. Oh, they also said he bent over um Buster too. And I'm I'm be upset if that's the case. I I used to love me some Buster, okay? And Buster Rhymes is going on tour with Sierra and Missy Elliott. Well, we already knew that Missy Elliott was bi, okay? We knew that, that she was bi, just like uh, the brat, okay? That's what I said. He's going to get arrested, but he's not going to do any time. He's not going to do any type of time, y'all. Because he's going to get away. They're going to make an example. He's going to get out of it. It is crazy. It's crazy, to say the least. It's crazy, all right? So I just I just want you guys to just kind of ponder over what's going down. If you were around in that time, think back of some events. If you went to any concerts, if you were in the club seeing stuff, what is it? Was it somebody that they were trafficking? Was it somebody potentially trafficking? Because this is potential. You know, there's, you know, until they come out with the evidence, remember everything is alleged, innocent until proven guilty. I know I'm so upset about Buster because I love me some Buster. Okay, I love me some Buster Rhymes. I love that video that him and Janet Jackson did together. That was a classic. And the fact that he's going to be on tour. Hey, Pussycat. Hey, girl. Um, the fact that he, they're going on tour, him and Sierra. And I was really upset because um, Shannon Sharp was talking badly about Sierra and the fact that she's going on tour. I was like, he needs to calm down. Okay, I like you, Shannon Sharp, but you're stepping, you're stepping out of line. You're stepping out of line here. Okay, because he, what he said was very, very sexist to me. You know, uh, what's wrong with Russell Simmons letting you know his wife go out on tour? Well, their family's going out on tour with them. You know, so 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 many people hate their relationship. She will. Uh, there's. He said. He said that Sierra belongs to the streets. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. He says Sierra is for the streets. I said, if that ain't nothing but hate, I don't know what is. 
They have a healthy relationship. She likes to feel sexy for her. We need to do a, we need to do an episode on that. Is Sierra for the streets? He sure do need to keep quiet with his tight pants. I was really upset with him about that. Okay. I'm like, leave them alone. They hate on Russell because they think he ain't cool. Oh, he cool. He's sexy as I don't know what. He be sitting up here loving on his wife. Mind your business. You ain't even married. Okay. You don't even have a healthy relationship. She's a whole happy marriage with a with wonderful children and a wonderful husband that supports her. Okay. All right. Exactly. The car scene got me too. I was like, boy, bye. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on. Let me see if I can find something on this real quick. Because I was I was really insulted by, by that. I was just like, dude, calm down. Okay? Leave her alone. Let me see if I can find that real quick, y'all. I was just like, dude, are you serious right now? Talking about Sierra like that? I was like, shut up. You know, so you sometimes people get so big they forget. You know what I'm saying? They forget when you when you when you coming out like this. When you coming out like this, y'all. When you coming out like this. Hold on, let me show y'all this. When you get in the car out this, you don't tell me that don't look dang on suspect. You know that don't look suspect. And the way he pulled his shirt down. That don't look suspect. Down look suspect. Down look suspect. Look, 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 look at this, look at this. Why he pull his shirt down like that? So he need to quit. He need to, he really need to quit. He need to stop with all that. Okay? He need to stop. Stop the bull. Stop, stop the bull. You know, now, now, now I'm questioning you. Unk T, you got that right. That was an Unk T move. Okay. Unk T move. Unk T. Okay. And you sitting up here talking about somebody, somebody's wife for the streets. That was disrespectful. Let's give, let's give it a scene again. Look, look. They so stupid. They so stupid. <laughs> so damn stupid. Okay, here you go. Look at it again. Look at it again. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can make it come back. Okay, I can't make it come back. That's crazy to me. Hey, girl. Kick me out. That was so funny. Okay. Offset told him to stop wearing that tight-ish. Exactly, because he looked crazy. And you want to talk about somebody for the streets. Get the, get the f out of here. That that made me mad. I, you know, I ain't gonna even lie. That made me mad. Sometimes the way people be judging other people is just like, are you serious right now? Unk T Shay, that's a good one, girl. We gonna I, I might have to buy that domain name. Unk T Shay, okay? You know, cause I be I'm real good at doing stuff like that. Okay, let me buy let me buy the domain name. <laughs> All right, let me let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so we just saw the interview with Jaguar Wright updated that she did today. And she said some new things and she said some non new things and she repeated some things. But what was interesting to me, again, girl, you ain't never lied. Okay, you ain't never lied. Um, he said some things that we need to ponder on. And I think I mentioned this to you before. Is Jay Z behind all of this? Because Jay-Z has the power, okay? And Jay-Z kind of know that everybody don't like P. Diddy. Think about that for a second. Jay-Z knows that everybody doesn't like Diddy, just like Jay-Z knew everybody didn't like Kanye. And he was trying to quickly move away from Kanye. But now he's trying to be Kanye friend, okay? Nah, man, bye, okay? Goodbye. So... I want you to ponder on what he said in reference to Jay-Z. 
I want you to ponder on what he said about Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. Well, we always knew that something was up with Dwayne Wade. I don't care what nobody's saying. Okay. We always knew that. All right. That was interesting. Um, the Aaliyah portion was interesting. The Mary J. Blige situation was interesting. Uh, the Stevie, the Stevie, S-T-E-E-B-I-E, -E -E, Stevie J. Yes, because when Jocelyn was on the scene, she looked very mannish, okay? Right now, she's in a happy place. She got away from him, just like Eve. Eve is in a happy place. She got away from Stevie J. Jocelyn's in a happy place. She got away from Stevie. Why is it that anybody that gets away from them are in a happy, in a happy space? Why is that? Why is it that every single person that gets away from them are in happy spaces? Who could it be? Could it be them? Or is it, could it be the people that they're trying to get away from, which is Puffy, which is Stevie J, which is Jay-Z? Okay. Girl, no, you didn't. Lose clothes and smaller teeth. Lord, you need to quit. Lord, help this child. I never cared for Jay-Z. He is sneaky and calculated. So true. So true. He's very cunning. It's a very cunning individual. So it's going to be very interesting to see what is going to transpire. What's going to happen over the next, next eight months, okay? What's going to happen over the next eight months? It's going to be very, very telling because it'll be a year for Diddy, and oh, she also said that all Diddy had to do was get the money, but Diddy was being selfish, and all of this wouldn't be happening right now. Well, we know that's true because Diddy is arrogant, okay? Diddy is arrogant, not smaller teeth, you stupid. I never cared for Jay-Z, <laughs> you stupid, not smaller teeth. But think about that for a second. Diddy arrogancy is putting him where he is right now. Cassie telling allowed everything to open up so other people could feel comfortable because what they're saying is if, if Cassie can tell, then I can tell too. Have you guys noticed we haven't heard any more about the case with um, King Combs and the lady They used to work on the ship? You can go back and look at the rewind, sis, uh, Kitty Cat Nina. Did you have you guys noticed the last couple of days there's been nothing about Chris Combs and the girl Grace? I bet Diddy wishing he could turn back time. I'm sure he does. Diddy wants to come out, but Stevie J been in, been there since the beginning. Stevie J has been there since the beginning, and he's dang well knows well that you know stuff was going down. Do you think because because Eve even said that Stevie J had her doing uh, homosexual stuff? Um, do you think Diddy is using Stevie J as a mule right now and his sidebar boyfriend? Mm. I think it's almost like a situation of, you know, hey, he wrote his album. Stevie is a great producer, um, songwriter. He's always been that. He's always been talented. So we can't take that away from him. I think he's loyal to him, you know, uh, and I think by siding with him, he's saving himself. So there's there's more to it than that. You know, remember, you have a um, you have SA going on nonstop, not just from what was going on with Diddy, but other people that were participating. So he's trying to cover himself. I heard they settled the case with the son, Christian. Exactly. Because y'all ain't heard nothing else. It's been a week almost. Let's pull the day. Let's pull the day. Christian Combs. Okay. It's been... It's been it's been a week. It's been a week since that came out and you haven't heard anything else. OK, birds of a feather flock together. Stevie and Diddy both involved with the yes. And and y'all know that he is. Look, Stevie, the girl on Love and Hip Hop, Mimi, she was bi. She gay. She was gay. Jocelyn, Jocelyn Hernandez, she was bi. So Eve, he made her buy. He was trying to make her buy. So all the women around, 
Faith Evans. I think Stevie actually loved Faith Evans though. Cause he, he actually married her, but I think she, she's also toxic. Yes. Blind loyalty, blind loyalty, blind loyalty. Okay. So it's just very, very interesting. Y'all it's all of this is so peculiar, but we need to make sure we need to make sure that we are paying attention to all of this that's going down. Okay. Mimi is best friends with Sarah Chapman, Diddy, baby mama. Let me pull up. How did she get away? How did she get away? How did she get away? How does she get away? How does she get her from up under him, y'all? Because you, it's again, she has not been around in a while, okay? In a while. I'm about to show you guys her. This is an old pic. Remember what I said about all of Diddy's kids have some type of trait with him. Okay. Remember that. Yeah, because she ain't said nothing else since. I'm guessing they brought the audio from her and she hushed, hushed now. Yeah, you're talking about the Grace Girl. Absolutely. Mom and Stevie was most likely at the FOS um, because she eventually came out as a lesbian and even did the dang shower. Yes. Yes. Crazy, right? But that's Sarah. And again, you hear nothing about her. Nothing. Nothing about her. And all these girls know each other. All of them knew Kim, Sarah, all of them knew. This, you know, and, and the daughter's name is Chance. Okay. The daughter's name is Chance. It's crazy. Let me show another one of her. And I just think it's so loving. The pictures are so loving. Okay. Why did she get away? Why did she get away? Is it just like with Quincy? You know, again, they had people in their lives, right? Hold on one second. Let me pull up this other one. Now look at this. Chances is, it, is in this one. Beautiful girl. Beautiful young lady. Look at this. Ooh, they nails white. They toes white. Lord, if he done did something to the girls, I, the, oh God, that was. Ugh. But he said they said he made him suck. They said did he made Justin suck him off? How disgusting. So guess who's not here? Christian's not here, um, and that just may be for another reason. Okay, that might be for another reason. But who's all not there? Oh, the baby is not there. Yes, Nina. The baby is the new one. Okay. And then the other two sons. Okay. I don't think Diddy in his own warped way loves Sarah as much as he so-called loves. I agree with you on that 1000%. But see, it chance, this is what I was saying to you guys the other day. Chance looked like she can be his daughter. This ain't his son. I keep telling y'all that. That's not his son. Lord, you need to find that. Okay. All right. That ain't his son. But these girls, you could tell that they're related. Okay. You could tell. So I want you guys to just write in your little journal book. 
say, today Diddy did this. Today they done found this. Today, I'm telling you, hey, I'm new, uh, Subby. Thank you. I love your content. Keep up the great work that you're doing. Thank you, Kitty Cat, beautiful LaFay. We appreciate you being here, okay? To know thy father is a sexual predator. Mm. Let me go find that video. Be right back. That's what I'm talking about. It's it's very, very sad. I don't even know how, to, I don't even know how I would feel if I knew that my father was a predator, a deviant. Well, they may not be dating no more now. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Chance is dating Hallie and Chloe's little brother. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Chance is beautiful. She's, she's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. So guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I had no, I wasn't going on tonight. Okay. But I saw that interview and I was just like, Oh, the people's got to see it. I want to put up some more content that's going to be nice and tight, okay? And I want to make sure that we hear from Usher's mama on those interviews, okay? Thank you, baby. Meow. Because she said that she wanted to sue because of what happened to her son. And, it, and this is when it happened. OK, so I'm going to be digging that up. I'm going to dig some other things up for you guys. Meow to you all. Love you. Bless you. Appreciate you. And I will see you on the next, the next episode of Kitty Cat Broadcast. All right. Pussycat. Y'all know I'm tired. It's been a long time. Yeah. 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 You want it? Work for that bag, go get it one day. You can brag. You want it, gotta work for that bag, go get it one day. You can brag. I say that I have it, you know that I got it. No need to look all in the bag. Stunning like this, cause I work so hard. I'm the best, I only speak facts. In the store, I'm popping them tags. A limit, a seller was that. Clout chasing for the cash grab. I don't really want it that bad. If I say that I have it, you know that I got it. No need to look all in the bag. My videos are for entertainment and educational purposes only and have the right to scalimer under Section 107 of Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comments, news, or report scholarship and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, and personal use tips, the balance in favor for use. So, everything that I say from now on is allegedly.